I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Westinghouse 27 inch IPS monitor. Designed for the home and the office with thin bezels, a full 1080p HD resolution and a pretty quick 75 hertz refresh rate. Let's take a look. Let's go ahead and kick things off by unboxing this Westinghouse panel. One of the biggest selling points of this is not only that 27 inch IPS display, which means we should get some really great color accuracy and viewing angles, but also the super thin bezels that make it really immersive in theory. On top of the packaging then, there's a few things of note from your included documentation through to the actual monitor stand itself, which we will need to assemble in a couple of moments time. You also get an included HDMI cable. It's great to see this included and allows you to plug up to a laptop or a desktop seamlessly. And then finally, you've got the UK monitor power adapter. This is all really securely packaged up uh, with this polystyrene. And below that, you've actually got the Westinghouse panel itself in this nice protective packaging. You want to go ahead and lift this out of the polystyrene, carefully remove uh, the outer packaging, and then lay it flat, really gently on a flat surface. That's going to make sure the panel is A-OK -okay and allow you to actually build up the stand. The first thing I've actually noticed as well is the included VESA mounting options. That's great for mounting on a monitor arm, if you want to keep the panel off a desk, putting it on a wall. It just gives you lots of versatile options as far as mounting is concerned. Let's go ahead and assemble our monitor stand. So then, I've gone ahead and actually booted the monitor up, connected it up to a PC, and that gives us a great opportunity to test out the panel, the colour reproduction, the viewing angles, all that good stuff. The first thing that really strikes me though, is just how thin the bezels are. With the small Westinghouse chin, if you will, at the bottom of the monitor, the rest are really thin. That would make it great actually for a two monitor productivity setup, where you've got spreadsheets on one window, emails on another, and it sort of feels like one continuous panel. It also makes it really immersive if you're using the panel on its own as a singular display and having those thin bezels is the cherry on top for me. We've loaded up this HDR video and this gives us a great opportunity to assess colours. Colours are bright, vivid and pretty good especially considering uh, this monitor's pricing and availability. Contrast looks pretty nice as well, colours are nice and accurate, there's no horrible filters or tweaks being applied uh, by this Westinghouse display. The 75Hz refresh rate as well just makes it feel that much quicker when tracking in Windows, uh, even in documents when you're typing, having that slight extra increase in refresh rate around 20-25% compared to the usual 60Hz standard, it just adds a cherry on top in my opinion. Brighter and darker areas of the image are well distinguished with shadows looking good and viewing angles even standing here are actually not too bad. Of course, most people will be using the monitor 99% of the time directly head on and that is of course where the colours look the best. It's pretty sharp as well considering it's a 1080p panel. Of course, make sure to check out the 1440p options on the market if you're after that bit extra resolution. Just jumping back to the 75Hz refresh rate as well, this is something you will need to enable in Windows as it won't be done by default. So to do that, you want to right click on the desktop and go to display settings. You're then going to navigate over to advanced display settings and here you'll get access to change the refresh rate. By default, it will likely be on 60 hertz. And when you change between these, windows will just flicker black for a moment, but we're just gonna tune it up to 74.95, AKA 75 hertz, to give us that 20% or so extra refresh rate. This just makes it feel that much snappier in windows and everything feels like it happens that little bit quicker. The stand does give you as well a little bit of tilt, so if you want to really pinpoint the viewing angles, you're able to do so, though you don't get any rotation. So if you do want to pan the monitor around, you'll need to do this using the stand manually. And if you'd like to use it in portrait mode, you will need to pick up an external vase mount. Though of course the panel does include a vase mount, which is really, really great to see. You also get a pretty versatile built-in menu that gives you the basic functionality you are after. You can change everything from the color temperature to the input settings or reset the panel back to defaults. In order to do this, just navigate across using these arrow keys and click the E button to actually enter into the settings you've selected. You can see here we can flip between cool, warm or user, which gives us even more flexibility in terms of choosing exactly what color temperature we want. 
That's going to allow you to really pinpoint the monitor exactly where you want it, reduce eye strain over prolonged use, especially eight hours, nine to five in a standard working day, and just gives you all the versatility you could want for a panel like this. All in all, the Westinghouse 27 inch IPS monitor, designed for work and for home, is a great way of getting a versatile 1080p panel at a really affordable price point. If you'd like to learn more about this monitor, it will be linked in the description of this YouTube video. Make sure to get subscribed if you'd like to see more here at the eBuyer channel. Thank you for watching though, and as always, we'll see you soon.